Sandy Bell, known as Sandy the Flower Man, passed away over the weekend. He was known for handing out flowers and smiles to people across downtown. Now people are keeping his memory alive with a floral pop-up. Taylor Stewart is live now to show us the tribute. Taylor. Several people have stood in the spot I am today to leave flowers or leave a note. Some people just coming by to shed a tear. But today we're learning more about the man behind those flowers, Mr. Sandy Bell. An array of lilies, dahlias, and roses seamlessly line Patton Parkway. Local florists created this floral pop-up in remembrance of Sandy Bell's life. Many knew him as the flower man. Well, Sandy was a real dear friend. Others say he was so much more. Eddie Bridges knew Sandy for 25 years. He had uh, a lot going on beyond um, just spreading flowers and love. He, uh, he loved to read. He... Uh, Loved movies. Eddie says it's the man behind the flowers that lifted the spirits of so many people, like Cassie Kite. He's been just such a little integral part of our little family. As she holds her three year old, she recalls her now husband giving her a flower from Sandy and how he's helped her through some tough times. I'm, I'm broken hearted. Um, not only has he been a part of my life, like just my marriage and stuff, but he's also comforted me um, when I lost my parents. Sandy, a cog in so many stories here. I mean, look at all the people. It's freezing. The white roses now blooming in the parkway will soon die, but memories of Sandy the flower man live on. It's essential. It's uh we maintain his memory. Um, we need to strive to be like him. Organizers say there are no plans to bring down this tribute anytime soon. They're asking people to come by and keep paying those respects. Right now we're in downtown Chattanooga. Taylor Stewart, News Channel 9. Taylor, thank you. A citywide memorial will be held for Sandy Bell this weekend. The service will be held at John Henry Visual and Performing Arts Center at 4.15 p.m. After the service, a candlelight vigil will be held at the Sculpture Fields at Montague Park.